Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to say Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad Bashem, and Kakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Waaki and Waakwa. And I say Shalom. And the Heavenly Father, two names, Zay Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Bashem, and then Mashiach Al Shad. Those are their two names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lash Wakadash, the whole tongue. And I say Shalom to the uh, elders, Waaki and Waakwa. And I say Shalom once more. And this is a uh, quick sit down lesson that I want to bring up the, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30 and verse 7. And this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 7. And I'm going to bring out some precepts to help me out to lead the way of this uh, sit down lesson of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 7. And that's the title of the sit down lesson. This is uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 7. And this is from BibleGateway.com, passage of uh, cross reference scriptures to uh, Deuteronomy 30, verse 7. And it reads, The Lord Yahweh, thy God, which is Yahweh, will put all these curses upon thy enemies and upon them that hate thee, which persecute thee. Right, so all these curses are starting to come upon our uh, the other enemies of our uh, enemies of the other nations. You know, because all these nations are the Heavenly Father enemies. All the Heavenly Father enemies are our enemies as well, too. You know, so. Now we're starting to see all these curses are taking toll on these other nations as well too. Even though it's still on us as well too, due our due to our transgressions, our iniquities, and our sins, you know that we've been doing wrong in the sight of the Heavenly Father. That's why we're uh, continuously uh, turning back into the ways of the Heavenly Father. Just like it says in Isaiah 55 and verse 6, "Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near." So, us Israelites, we turn back to the Heavenly Father, you know, choose His ways. And, you know, through his path and his wisdom and knowledge and understanding and trust in his ways, and we're turning back to righteousness in the sight of the Heavenly Father. Just like it says in Isaiah 33 and verse 6, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation in the field of the Lord, your house is treasure. So now we're starting to see all these uh, curses take a toll on these other nations as well, too. The ones that have lifted up the head, that which have hated thee and persecuted thee as well, too. You know, mentally, spiritually, financially, and other those categories, sorts, you know, of that very important matter. Now we're starting to see these other nations, you know, they feel in the uh, wrath, they feel in the wrath of, of the Heavenly Father, you know, now we're starting to see it. Now it's taking a toll on them as well, too. Even though it's still taking a toll on us, Due to our transgression, our iniquities, and our disobedience in the sight of the Heavenly Father. So that shows you that the Heavenly Father is not a respectable person. If he's jacking up his own people that he loves, you know, that's why the scripture says, has the Heavenly Father cast away his people, yeah, out for being. So he chastises us for correct, for uh, create, I mean, love uh, for correction, you know. So how much more than us than these other nations, you know. So that shows you that the Heavenly Father, he's not a respectable person, you know. Because he's the true creator. He's uh, in, short, in control of everything. You know? It's like it says in Isaiah 45 and verse 7. I form the light. I create darkness. I create peace. I, the Lord, Yahweh does all these things. Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 14. You know, whether it be, uh, it, you know, whether it be secret, whether it be good, or whether it be evil. You know, so the Lord, Yahweh, he does all these things. So he's in control of everything. And he's not a respectable person. You know, even though he jacked up his people for uh, transgressions not committing our sins in the sight of the Heavenly Father. And he's continually chastising us for correction. You know, he chastised those who he loved, of course, his, his, his people, you know. That's why he had to cast away his people. He, he chastised us for correction. Now we're starting to see, you know, these other nations, they they getting, uh, getting jacked up out of wrath for the Heavenly Father. Yeah, how, you know, uh, Deut 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 yeah, Deuteronomy uh, 30 and verse 7, and the Lord Yahweh, my power, will put all these curses upon thy enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecute thee. Yep. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 15, and the Lord Yahweh will make, it says, and the Lord Yahweh, thy power, will take from all sickness, and will, and will put none of evil diseases of Egypt. It says, What thou hast knoweth upon thee, but I will lay upon all them that hate thee. Right. So just like he, he jacked up ancient Egypt, uh, these uh, those Egyptians, how they had the Israelites in captivity. Hey, the Heavenly Father sent plagues upon Egypt, ancient Egypt. Now he's sending upon these uh, famines and pestilent plagues upon modern day Egypt. You know, hey, because there's no new thing in the sun. This is uh, Lamentations 
4 and verse 21 through verse 22. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that the well in the land of us, and the cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. Lamentations 4 verse 22, and it reads, It says, The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, which is us, the Zion 1. And we, it says, and will no more carry thee away into captivity, and he will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Eden. He will discover thy sins. So with that, hopefully this uh, set down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Deuteronomy 30 and verse 7, and the uh, cross-reference scriptures, the additional two cross-reference scriptures that I brought out in reference to the uh, Deuteronomy 30 verse 7 that helped me lead the way of the sit down lesson and the Wadi Ha'abash Ma'ashat for that. So with that, once again, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Deuteronomy 30 verse 7. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to say how about Hashem, how Shab, Hashem, how Kadash, Shalom to the uh, elders of Akim or Akwa. And I say Shalom and the Heavenly Father, true name is Zayah Hawa, and his only begotten son, Bahashem, and the name of Hamashak Abshah. Those are their true names in the ancient pedigree of Hebrew, the Bashwa Kadash, the Holy Tongue. And once again, Shalom to the uh, elders of Akim or Akwa, and I say Shalom.